Hi there, my name is uh, Fire Centaur in Second Life and Paul Privish in Real Life. I'm just here standing on English Village and um, I've got a quiz chair here that's been uh, configured using note cards. And uh, um, what users can do is they can come and uh, sit on this quiz chair and automatically they will get uh, some questions uh, downloaded from my Moodle website and displayed to them on a blue dialog window. And if they answer the question correctly, the chair will go up, and if they answer it incorrectly, it won't do anything. So um, what happens is every time they uh, answer a question, their, their quiz attempt gets recorded in the Moodle um, database as a, um, in the gradebook. So, but there is a problem. Um, if a user actually sits on this and um, they're not enrolled in the website, uh, they're going to get an, an error message. So what you can do is um, there is a Moodle, a Sloodle feature uh, called auto enroll. And I want to show you how to turn that on because once auto enroll is turned on, then um, uh, users will be automatically enrolled in your website. So first of all, let me show you what happens when a user who is not enrolled on your Moodle's website tries to sit on this quiz chair. Okay, here we are. I'm logged in with an alt, uh, another avatar. His name is a Sloodle Alchemy. It's a little, this little yellow uh, butterfly here. So it's going to try and sit on the Sloodle chair and it's not a member of my Sloodle website. So if I try to sit here, in chat, it says error. Server responded with this status code negative uh, three two one. So um, that means they can't take the quiz. But what you can do um, on your Moodle website is uh, you can turn auto enroll, a feature called auto enroll, on. And when you do that, um, when they when new users sit on this quiz chair, they'll automatically be enrolled with your Moodle website. So let's uh, let's I'm going to show you how to do that in Moodle. So when you're on your Moodle website, um, you go into your course, and the first thing you're going to have to do is add, turn editing on. And uh, what we have to do is we have to add the uh, Sloodle block. We have to add the uh, Sloodle menu block. So if we go down to blocks here, I'm going to go down to I'm going to go down to Sloodle menu, and that's going to add the Sloodle menu block. And now I'm going to click on course uh, Sloodle configuration. And I get to a Sloodle settings uh, page, and here it says Sloodle allow auto reg, and the default is no. I'm going to change that to yes, and Sloodle allow auto enroll. That's at no. I'm going to change to yes, and I'm going to press save changes. That will turn auto registration on. So now, um, if we quickly do a, a user list, I'm going to go to my accounts and browse user browse a list of users. I'm just going to do a quick search for Sloodle just to show you that um, he's not currently in our user list. Okay, you can see that Sloodle didn't come up. So now let's go back to Second Life and let's sit on this chair and see if something different happens. So he sits on and it says Sloodle quiz for Sloodle Alchemy fetching quiz data. And the quiz comes up. So now if we go back to our Sloodle site you'll see that this avatar now has an account on Sloodle. So let's just do a search for Sloodle see what comes up. And there we go, Sloodle Alchemy. You can see he exists in the database. Now the only problem with turning this auto enroll feature on is that uh, this user didn't get a Sloodle password. So how can they log into the website? Well, we do have another Sloodle tool called Moodle Password Reset. And um, if they click on this Moodle Password Reset, it should allow us to set the password. So let's click on that and see what happens. Okay, then in chat, um, when they clicked on it, they got a username and a password. So I'm again, so I'm going to go to my Moodle site, and I'm going to type in. First of all, I'm going to have to log out uh, because I'm logged in as Fire Centaur. So I'm at the Sloodle website now. And I'm going to press login, and the username that it gave me was Sloodle Alchemy. And I'm going to copy and paste the password that it chatted, and I'm going to press login. And now I'm logged into the website, and it instantly brings me to the uh, Sloodle uh, user configuration, the Moodle user configuration, and it asks me for an uh, email address. So I'm just going to type in an email address here, type in a city. and press some update profile. 
Oh, I'm going to select the country. Turn down to Canada, and I'm going to press Update Profile. And now it says, you have requested a change of your email address from uh, sludleeslteacherlink.co.kr. Okay, so they're sending me an email address, the new address to confirm that it belongs to me. So now I have to go back to my email. And now this user can log in to your Moodle website. Okay, it looks like they're going to have to go through this step again and then just press... Oh. Uh, we're going to have to type in uh, update profile one more time, press update profile, and there we go. Okay, so that's what's involved when you turn auto enroll on. Just to recap, what it allows you to do is new users like Sludo Alchemy uh, can be on your island, they can sit on the quiz, automatically get the quiz, sit on the quiz chair, automatically get the quiz, and then if they do want to um, be able to log into your Moodle website, they just have to go to the password uh, reset um, object. Okay, well, uh, thanks for watching, and please test this out on your Sludl servers and report back to me, Fire Centaur, or the rest of the Sludl team. Let us know if you have any difficulties. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.